I'm Marbelle, and the video you're about to watch is inside of my Fiverr profit system. If you're looking to generate thousands of dollars per month so that you could charge more and work less as a Fiverr seller, then go ahead and check out the playlist that I've linked below and tagged in this video. For more videos like this, go ahead and like and subscribe. Let's get to it. So what are the benefits of being a Fiverr Seller Plus member? I've been in the program for about eight months, eight, nine months now, and I absolutely love it. So here's what I love about it. Here are the features that are really, really cool and what it's all about. Hi, my name's Arbel, and I've been a Fiverr seller, a full-time Fiverr seller for almost a decade. I still can't believe that it's been that long. When I first joined Fiverr, it was just... It was a completely different platform than it is today. Like there were no features for sellers. It was so hard to contact support and nine times out of 10, if not 10 times out of 10, customer support would side with the buyer in most disputes. Things have really changed over the last two years, I would say. There have been so many changes to the platform, which I'm sure you guys are fully aware of, not only the UI and the UX, but just the way that Fiverr helps its sellers now is completely different than how it did before. I actually created my TikTok account based on teaching sellers how to be more successful on Fiverr because there were like no resources for sellers, but now there are, and I'm really excited by all of these really, really cool features, including the Fiverr Seller Plus program. When I first heard about it, I was already coaching Fiverr sellers on how to be more successful. And one of my students was telling me about the program and how she has this success manager. And to be quite honest with you, I was kind of taken aback. I was like, then why are you hiring me if you have a success manager from Fiverr? Like, shouldn't they be telling you how to be really successful on the platform? And basically she told me that these success managers kind of keep an eye out for your account and help you with any disputes, customer service problems, buyer problems, things that you just really can't do on your own. It's kind of like having somebody in your back pocket that works at Fiverr, which is really, really cool. But I still didn't sign up for the program. I was really hesitant on it. I was like, I'm not going to give Fiverr more money per month than the 20% that they take from me. And then I had another student tell me about the buyer metrics that she can see on her end as a member. She can actually see how much buyers are spending on the platform. And I was like, sign me up, take my card, <laughs> take whatever payment. I want that. I want those metrics. So here are the biggest benefits that I have found of being a Fiverr Seller Plus member. And I am in the top tier. I pay $39 a month for a Fiverr Success Manager. So let's get into it. The very first one, which I feel like is just the biggest benefit of all, is that you get early payout. So instead of waiting 14 days after the order is marked complete, you can withdraw your funds within seven days. That's like in and of itself, I feel like it's worth the fee. The second thing is the buyer stats, which I've kind of already mentioned. So this is what it looks like. And you can actually see when a Fiverr buyer contacts range of how much they usually spend on average on the platform. And then you can also see the main service that they hire for. I found this to be really, really useful when a customer contacts me and they're interested in a quote for my UGC work, for instance. If I see that that buyer usually spends about 100 to $500 on the platform, with other sellers, then I know that I can really charge the rates that I wanna charge for this buyer, and I'm probably not going to get a lot of pushback, which also helps with the buyers that you feel like you would get a lot of pushback. If I see a buyer that usually spends up to $50 or up to $100, I kind of already know that I'm gonna get a lot of pushback. I probably can't charge my premium price. And if I do give them a quote, I'm gonna probably have to haggle a little bit. It's also helpful to see what categories they usually spend their money in. So if a buyer contacts me for a voiceover, for instance, but they usually spend their money in video animation in that category, then I know that they are actually using both of these services to help run their business. And so that helps me determine how serious of a buyer this person is if the services he usually hires and me work well together. Another really cool feature that I feel a lot of people don't talk about is the advanced settings when you go to create or edit your gig. Your advanced setting areas in your gig setup process, which I actually go more in depth on over in my Fiverr Profit system, allows you to choose between instant order and request to order. So instant order is where we're used to. All of us buyers and sellers are used to that, where you just purchase the gig right on the gig page. 
Now you have the option as a Fiverr Seller Plus member to request to order. So you can prompt buyers when they click on that button, instead of going to purchase your gig, it's going to open up a contact form where they have to request to order and communicate with you before they can actually place the order. This is a really useful feature for certain gigs like myself for UGC, where I wanna make sure that I wanna work on that video or I can do it or I cannot do it. I really need to talk with the buyer before they place the order. So this is really helpful for a variety of different gigs and services that are hosted on Fiverr. The other thing is you can highlight reviews. So by default, Fiverr just shows whatever reviews they want at the very top. The Fiverr Seller Plus member, you can actually pull up highlighted reviews and the ones that you want to show at the very top of your gig. Another cool feature is the keyword searches. So you can do an in-depth dive into the keywords that buyers are typing to find services like yours. It just gives you a little bit more analytics as to what people are searching for when they are looking for a service like yours. And lastly, which I feel like should be number one, if you do choose to go with the higher package where you have a Fiverr success manager, I do recommend you do that. I love having somebody in my back pocket that works at Fiverr that can look out for my account. Case in point, I actually had an issue where I delivered a kind of like a screenshot to a buyer to avoid a late delivery, which is a big no-no. You're not supposed to do that, but it was about to run late and we were still negotiating a couple things, figuring out how I was going to do the video. So I delivered like a screenshot. My Fiverr success manager emailed me and was like, hey, your account got flagged for delivering a non-deliverable. You're not supposed to do that. I basically made it go away, but try not to do it again. That in and of itself, like having a success manager who can watch out for your account and make sure that you're not running into any issues that could potentially suspend you or ban you is well worth the money. If you are a serious Fiverr seller and this is like a full-time income or a majority of your income, having a success manager in your back pocket is going to be especially useful. Definitely take that into consideration. We communicate via email, but I've also had Zoom meetings with him. So you can actually have like a Zoom conference call with your success manager and just go over your entire account and they can tell you how your gig is standing out, some back end metrics. They're not going to tell you exactly what you should change to be more successful and like optimize your gig, but they will give you a couple of tidbits to kind of help you move things along. Very, very useful. I highly suggest it. I'm pretty sure there are a bunch of other features, but those are really my favorite features that I feel like is worth the $39 a month. It just gets taken out of my earnings. So I actually don't see that charge and I don't feel it because it just gets taken out with my earnings before I even withdraw my amount. So it's not a big deal. I'm interested to know what your thoughts on the program are, if you are in it, or if you're looking to upgrade your membership, let me know what you guys think. If you have any other questions about the program and other features that I really should review, definitely let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, like and subscribe for more just like this.